guys, Sarah from Miss Efficiency. I just wanted to show you today how to publish reports in Xero and why it is important to publish reports. So publishing reports is, um, it takes a report and it sort of locks it in time. So if you are looking at your profit and loss today, if you want to look back to see what it was six months ago, and if there has been some changes, if you look back six months prior to today and the changes might be retrospective, so you can't actually see where the changes have happened. So if you look at a published report, you'll see what it was actually at that point in time. So it's easy to identify where the changes have happened. So this is particularly helpful if you are doing a bank reconciliation and something has gone out of balance. If you've got your published report of how it was at that time and then you've got your report now which is out of balance you can compare the two and hopefully it's not too much of a big deal to find where the issue is so um, let me show you firstly where your reports are so under accounting and then these ones here are your favorite reports so if you just jump into reports here if you've got some that some that you look at all of the time, just click on the little star here and it will allow you to have them in this list so you don't have to. So it saves a click basically. Um, and then likewise, there are some standard favorite reports set up. So if they're not really ones that you would look at, then untick them. So I have my set of standards that I that I typically set up. So I'll also add in a GST reconciliation. If the client doesn't have receivables, then I take that out. Um, so it's really up to you and you can customize it how you'd like it to be. Um, but our published reports are, are over in this tab here. Now this is the demo company, so there's none here, but I wanted to show you how to publish a report. So if we jump back into the dashboard and click on um, the, the drop, the three little arrows, the three little dots here and click on reconciliation report. So obviously we would not go here unless we've fully reconciled and everything um, has been ticked off and, and you've matched the, the reconciliation to the bank statement. So in this case, we're going to print our reconciliation to the 31st of March and update that. So a couple of things to look out for. We want to make sure that there's nothing in here as unreconciled. There can be unreconciled things um, and they would be things that you have entered a transaction but it hasn't actually come out of the bank yet and that's fine for them to be in there. The things that you don't want there are unreconciled items that have actually come out of the bank and potentially there's duplicates here so you would need to investigate why that is. Also you want to make sure that your balance in zero is the same as your statement balance. If it's not, um, well there'll be there'll be things in between here, but sometimes there'll be a little out of balance figure here. Now, often that's a, a date issue. So if you run the report to the next day, it might bring the out of balance out, or it could be a number of other things um, that should be investigated as well. Um, but the other thing that I like to do is just check onto the bank statement tab as well and make sure down the bottom that that figure matches. Most of the time it will, sometimes it won't. So again, sometimes if it doesn't match, it's okay and there can be a, a legitimate reason for it. But if not, just investigate and satisfy yourself that it, that it is or isn't okay. Also, before you publish this report, you want to make sure that this balance does actually match with the bank statement. So even though we have bank feeds in zero, um, sometimes, you know, things happen, uh, a line could accidentally get deleted, the feed might bring in a duplicate or it might miss a day or a few transactions. So we can only see in zero what comes through and we need to make sure that that matches the bank. And if it doesn't match the bank statement, why not? Is it a timing issue? Is it, um, is it something that's dropped off the feed that you need to fix up? So just verify that this is all correct before you publish. Now, once you have done all of that and you're ready to publish the report, just click on publish down here. Um, you can update some information here. So if there's more than one bank account, I'll usually put in here account number because we're going to be publishing all of the reconciliation reports for all of the bank accounts so we want to be able to easily identify them later on and um, in mine I have this little footer here and I just put in there the date that I that I published it 
you don't have to do that. You can put your own thing in there or you can leave it blank. And this is telling you what it's going to publish. Um, and again, my preferences are set up so that I have my branded colors and my logo will come through. So once you're happy with this, we select publish and it will come in this list here. And the more reports that you publish, the more um, this list will grow out. And from here, uh, this will just sit in zero. So whenever you come into zero, you can have a look in this publish report area and all of your published reports will be here. And from here, you can export it to PDF if you wanna save it onto your own network drive somewhere in Dropbox or, or on, your, on your computer somewhere. Um, and you can also export them out to Excel or Google Sheets. And you can open it up from here as well. So published reports are a really good way to, to lock a snapshot of a point in time so that you can refer back to it later on and you can know, okay, the reconciliation for this period, when you're talking about reconciliations reports, that bank rec is done and you can now move on. Um, if you have any questions about publishing reports or bank reconciliations or anything in general in Xero, please do reach out to us at the link below.